here we have the oil. We make sure it's hot. And what we're going to do is use help this sausage to break on its own. So we're going to cut it like this in pieces, you see. And we're going to put it into the pan in the moment the oil is hot. And what we want to start doing is browning the meat to get the caramelization of the meat to make sure that the dish will be really, really tasty. And I think this oil is already hot, so first piece go in. And we're going to try to make sure that they are somehow separated. It's this way, we don't overcrowd the pan, and we'll get a crispier, browner color outside every piece of butifarra. Like this, beautiful. And so, as the butifarra starts being cooked and browning in the outside, we're going to start turning them upside down. And now we're going to be adding the queen of Spanish cooking, onion. And you know, you can chop it up, you can do whatever cut you like. And we're going to put some of the onion all around the butifarra, like this. And now we're going to wait until the onion kind of becomes translucent, almost like we can see through it. And look, at we start moving the whole thing. You see the onion is already nice and caramelized. Already the aromas are all around the kitchen. We need to make sure that everything cooks evenly. And in this moment that the onion already you can almost see through, I think it's the right moment to add my favorite ingredients. And actually one of the favorite ingredients in Catalonian cooking, mushrooms. And right here I have oyster mushrooms, beautiful oyster mushrooms. And we're gonna add them to the pan to make sure that we keep cooking the ingredients as the meat is almost done. Now it's very important that the pan is really hot. Why? Because we know that mushrooms give away a lot of water. If the pan is not really hot, what is going to happen is that we're going to end up having a big swimming pool in the bottom of this pan. And we don't like swimming pools, at least in this technique. We want everything to be as dry as possible because we want everything to get a nice of a brown color as possible. Browner the color, nicer the flavor. In Catalonia, you know, they love dry fruits. And what a better dry fruit than raisins. We have beautiful raisins in Spain. We're gonna get a handful of these and we're gonna add them to the pan, already bringing some nice sweetness to the whole thing. Some more. And also we love other kinds of dry fruits like pine nuts. You find a lot of pine nuts in Catalan cooking. And we are going to do also a whole bunch of them, all right? So we can do this later. And now, it's very important to give a good aroma to the whole thing. And we are going to achieve this in a very simple way with fresh herbs. And what a better herb than bay leaf inside. And some thyme. You know, let's say this is very much country food. So if you are walking in the countryside of Catalonia, you will find fresh thyme right in the middle of the mountains. All right? Great. Beautiful. So now I think we're going to go for some salt right now. Beautiful. Even careful because the sausage, the butifarra, already has salt and black pepper, etc. But you know, a touch more will always help. Like this. And why not? Also black pepper, even if the sausage already has inside. Beautiful. We need something that unites all the ingredients. And in this case, we're going to be using a moscatel. You know, in Catalonia, as you see, they love sweet things. And what a better thing than adding a touch of sweet moscatel that is going to unite, once again, all the ingredients. And you see, now we have the evaporation of the alcohol. Some of the liquid is going to remain and it's going to give a very nice extra depth of flavor to the whole thing. And this is very much close to being finished. Take a look at this, how beautiful. We wait one, two, three, four more seconds until almost this sweet wine reduces completely. And you can see there that the wine is mixing with the olive oil, creating this kind of broken sauce. 
almost becoming syrupy. That's the moment that that dish is ready. Oh yeah, it's nothing like the smell of fresh parsley. Okay, my friend, this is over. Let's plate it. Here, we get some of the sausage, some of the thyme, some of the onion, some of the mushrooms. Oh, beautiful. Really beautiful. Take a look at this. Some of the bay leaf out. And let's see if we can add some of the liquid. This sauce you see here is gonna be so concentrated, so deep. And we put the sauce right here around the whole thing. And this dish, this butifarra, is already finished. 